Good day, YouTube. It is the 27th of April, 2023. This is a 2008. This is a Yamaha Drive G29. And uh, bought this thing uh, ooh, six, eight months ago, something like that. Paid 400 bucks for it. Wasn't running. Got a couple videos on it. It is an electric cart, 48 volt. And um, we got the thing working. We've been kind of reviving batteries. And this thing had been primered and spray painted horribly in flat black and got a video posted on how i got that flat black and that primer off of this golf cart and uh, to reveal the original color um, was red obviously and um but it's not in very good shape underneath it could almost live with it um if the back would have come out as nice as the front i probably could have lived with it um i I don't have time to like pull the body and and do something really special and that's really not what this cart's about um this is going to be drug behind a truck and camper this summer um and it's just going to be used around uh race tracks dirt tracks um to uh give us transportation so the paint the original paint you know starting to come up um Probably with a paint remover uh, combined with some scratches and so forth and took it off. So it's just here, there. And, you know, there was a lot of scuffs that was under the paint. A lot of them. I don't know what they did. It drove through bushes or something. I don't know. But anyway, this whole body is, uh, is rough, but it's not broken. A lot of the original paint came off in this area. In this area. So, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty rough. You see, I did a little bit of hand sanding back here, just trying to get a feel for what this is going to take. So how we're going to start, we're going to start with a DA sander and go over all the rough areas. I'm going to start with the 320 grit paper um, for the DA. Yeah, 320. And I don't want to put any deep scratches in this thing. We're going to try to minimize the amount of body work that we got to do. Got a couple cans, uh, spray cans of filler primer. And I think we're just going to do a Rust-Oleum red paint job on this. Just like the other golf cart that they did. Um, it's a pretty color. Um, it's pretty good tough paint. And if we need to touch it up, it's pretty easy to do. So uh, let me get the DA uh, hooked up. And uh, let's see how this goes. Sanding the scratches out of it. Okay, gloves on.
All right, that's uh, it's gonna come out pretty good. I'm gonna obviously feather all that in, sand through these scratches for the most part. We'll get this all sanded down, and um, we'll throw some filler primer on it, and we'll wet sand that. All right, so this is gonna take uh, a few hours, so I'm gonna get to it, and I'll check back with you when I have some updates for you. All right, we've got uh, kind of everything rough sanded. I actually switched to 220 from 320. That was cut a little faster. I don't think the scratches are gonna hurt it any. Um, feathered it out best we could. No, not best we could. Feathered it out as much as I felt like I needed to. How's that? Um, yeah, been paints a mess. It is what it is. So we're gonna see how well this uh, filler primer works around all these bad places. Um, so I'm going to run around this thing with a green scotch bright and get everything done again. And then we're going to wipe it down. And then we're going to shoot some primer. We're going to really focus on the bad spots, giving those two or three coats. And, uh, yeah. Then once those have dried, we'll go around this and probably wet sand the primer down. The scotch bright really reveals, you know, things that needed a little more attention. Kind of gets everything smoothed out. Uh, gets in the places where a DA sander couldn't get, etc., etc. So let me uh, do this for a while. All right, we have cruised over this thing with a scotch bright pad. Kind of evens things out. It gets to the uh, little spots that you can't get to with the sander. I've uh, masked off the edges of things. And we're going to go over this with the uh, filler primer. We're going to hit all the bad spots, just the bad spots, a couple of times. And then kind of fill in the blanks. Okay. This is what we're using. This is from Harbor Freight. Um... I really wanted to get the Iron Arbor, Iron Armor uh, truck bed liner for doing all of these plastics and such. They've been out of stock since like October, and they're still out of stock. So I might have to change brands. I didn't want to because I've had good luck with it. But this is, uh, I think, my first time using the their filler primer. But the price point is good. Um, and again, I've had good luck with their... Uh, truck bed liner. I did the hood on my uh, black geo tracker and that's been like three years ago or something. Still looks great. I'm real happy with it. So <clears throat> again, we're going to cruise around and hit the just the bad spots and uh, kind of let that dry up. And then we'll do the kind of the filling around the edges, or the betweens. We're going to let this stuff kind of fill in the scratches a little bit. And uh, then later, hopefully later today, we can wet sand this down and it will be like magically smooth. All right, I've got two coats on all the bad spots, the place where, you know, paint and chips and scratches and things were. And it uh, is working good. It's a nice filler primer. It's nice and thick. Um, some of them, you know, just hide them immediately. Some of them will go away uh, when we sand it. Some of them, you know, will just kind of still be left there and uh, okay with that. So I'm going to continue to prime those little gaps between those spots. And uh, while this thing is drying, we'll probably, uh, I don't know if we'll pull that top off there or not. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to do more work than we got to do. Um, we can get this painted and then we we'll got some big plans for this thing. All right, we're in primer now. We're going to let it dry. I'm actually going to run and get the paint. And... We might get this thing sprayed today. 
we'll get it all wet sanded down it's nice it's a the, gonna be the warmest day of the year so far so it's spring we've had nothing but rain but uh today's a nice day it's supposed to hit 80s so this thing will dry quickly and we can shoot it maybe shoot it outside and uh yeah is it perfect nope it's not bad though and once we get it wet sanded down you know we'll lose 80 percent of the defects and the other 20 percent will be less noticeable and we'll shoot it and it will be fine oh yeah i have acetone i say that because uh you got a thin uh rust-oleum so you can spray it and uh you can either use mineral spirits or acetone i think i have both so i have acetone there but i can see a lot of rust-oleum products up there on the shelf um but I believe I'm out of red, so I've got to go get a quart of red. All right. Check back with you a little bit. What's on TV? Nothing. All right, guys. It's wet and dry time. Uh, we're going to do it with 400. Um, should be good. Um, if if you wanted to do this, uh, you'll really, really right. No sand scratches visible, you know, under critical lights and all that stuff you probably want to be at the 600 on your final sand but uh we're gonna go 400 and that's what it's gonna be so we're soaked it we've soaked the sandpaper in a little bucket of water for a couple minutes and uh let's uh, start sanding so we're gonna very lightly hit everything we're just gonna look for the trouble spots okay Looking for trouble. It's a very quick cut, okay? Double spots like that. Gotta go quickly. Okay. You can tell when she smooths out that you're good. Keep on trucking now. All right, I've got the whole thing wet sanded, um, and it came out pretty good. So again, 400 grit. Um, if you were doing something really nice, you probably want to end up at 600. But this came out pretty good. It, it worked on the bad spots a little bit, made them a little better. Is it perfect? Nope. If you wanted it perfect, prime again, sand again, prime again, sand again. You could probably do that four or five times if you want it perfect but it's just pretty good and that's kind of what we're shooting for pretty good presentable stuff there's going to be a little defect there i'm okay with that um we've made it much better so we're gonna let this kind of dry a little bit i got a couple errands we'll come back and let's paint it 
I'm not so worried about all this stuff. It is going to come off. We're going to put the rear seat on it. Anything we reuse, we'll clean it off or repaint it anyway. So it is what it is. Hate to paint in a shop, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Back in a little bit. All right, it's almost go time. I have wiped this thing down with a paper towel. Autumn's checked it out for me. Autumn, is it okay, sweetie? Is it ready to go? Okay, you go find a safe place to be there where Daddy paints, okay? Okay, Dad. So we have the shop doors open out in the barn. Got all the doors open. I got a fan in the doorway. I could have two or three, but that's what we're going to do. Um, to shoot this, I'm going to use my detail gun. I actually have a collection, if you will, of spray guns. But this detail gun I've had a long time. It's got a, a regulator on it, so I can adjust my air pressure as I go. And the goal for today is to use a very low air pressure um, to minimize the amount of fumes and stuff in my shop. I hate painting in my shop, but I was just we're just gonna do it today. So okay. So this is paint we're using. I just went down to Lowe's and got it. It's like 18 bucks or 17 something. And uh, it's got a paper cup that we're gonna mix it in. If you use a plastic cup, the acetone's gonna eat its way through and you'll have bad results. While I was there, they had John Deere Green on closeout. So I picked that up so we could do that John Deere out there. The steel part of the pan needs to be done. So we'll do that. So we're gonna mix up the uh, paint we're gonna go you know 10 15 percent um, reducer in this case acetone let me put you on the stand all right let's pour a little paint in here shall we okay so there's dirt in it shouldn't be Okay. Didn't make too big of a mess on the can. Okay. Again, about you know, ten percent, fifteen percent somewhere. It's a nice warm day today. So, uh, should be good. You just want it sprayable. <laughs> By the way, this is the right way to dump out of these type of cans. It's this direction. They don't glug. Alright. Just want it sprayable. It's going to take a minute to stir this up. This, uh, if you get really, really good at thinning Rust-Oleum, you'll be able to, you know, pull your stick out. Just see how long it takes for the stream of paint to turn into drips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a little thick, but I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. I've shot with it a little thin before. And you really risk runs. Okay, let me... Uh, 
Pour this in the gun, shall we? Okay, I've got really good ventilation. I'm not going to use a. Uh, I'm just going to use a dust mask today. Not have my shaded glasses on today. Okay. All right, my working pressure at the gun is uh, less than 10 pounds, 10 PSI. I got 130 pounds of shop air coming to my little working gauge here. So I can regulate right up my gun. I can change it as I go if I need to. I was saying earlier, I usually shoot around you know, six or eight seconds. This is a little thick. We're gonna try it. I'm gonna try it over here where it's less conspicuous because I do wanna shoot it heavy, thick today. I might need a little more air. Okay, we're definitely not going to shoot the body um, this thick. I don't mind this. is a really rough section. And uh, we're going to shoot that a little bit dry, kind of on purpose. Kind of hides things a little bit. It'll be a little orange peely. Uh, we'll see how it lays down, but we're going to thin this back out a little bit. And we're going to go for that six to eight seconds that we talked about. Let me shoot the other side, see how we do. Hmm, let me see. All right, I did thin it out. We're going again. There we go.
All right, I'm gonna paint for it a little bit. All right, there's the first coat. It's laying up pretty good. Back you up, there we go. And I, I was at eight seconds on the drip, and I just thinned it out again to six seconds on the drip. That should help things continue to lay up that decent. So let's shoot coat number two at six seconds. <clears throat> the rear has its second coat. Now for the front. Second coat. I need some air. All right, I'll let the compressor pump up. Here we go. Running out of paint. Well, the compressor was filled enough, I mixed up some more six second. Really watching for gloss here. We only got one coat to go. No bad spots, you know. Got a little dirt in it, that's all right. Okay, we're gonna prep now for a final coat. All right, I decided uh, not to shoot the rear again. I had actually thrown so much paint on it in two coats that uh, really didn't need a third. So we're good on the rear. I did shoot the front one more time. Giving you a close-up. I was uh, kind of blessed with a nice warm day today because it's like 80 out. So this is going to dry real good. So, so we spent uh, like 12 bucks, 14 bucks or something on a couple cans of primer um, at Harbor Freight. Uh, I will recommend that. That's the first time I've used it, but it did good. It dried quickly. It sanded nicely. It builds scratches. I'm very happy with it okay this will continue to lay out oh shit i just knocked the paper into the paint and probably fix that real quick shit anyway sorry um 
I will fix that. Hang on, let me fix that. Okay, all fixed. I just hit her again. Alright. Gotta be happy with this. This was a ugly duck clean. We got this front end all straightened out. Stuff. They and they primed and painted over the emblem for crying out loud. But uh, it's starting to lay down real good. I was glad I get the front end one more shot. It's gonna be nice. Thanks for a nice warm day and everything. So all this black stuff's been rattle can, so we're gonna hit it with something eventually. I don't know if I'll have time to do it now, but we'll get there. We'll get there. All right, guys, what do you think? We did it in a day. It's not even the end of the day. It can't be more than about 3.30 or something. Anyway, we're rambling now. Guys, what do you think? What should we call it a video? Ready to paint your golf cart? Rust-Oleum? Man, I paint a lot of stuff with Rust-Oleum. If you haven't watched my tractor shows and such, um, you know, that's Rust-Oleum paint job. That was a few years ago. The deck on this, Rust-Oleum, safety yellow. Very close to John Deere yellow. Yep. Adam, you want to inspect it before we call it a day? Okay, how we did, sweetie. Go, let's go look at the paint. Come on, Adam. Come here, sweetie. Okay, what do you think? Is it good? Yeah, thank you, sweetie. Autumn says it's good to go, so we're going to call it good to go. All right, gang, thanks for watching. I'd really appreciate the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up on the way out the door. And uh, uh, once again, every morning, following morning after video is posted or whatever, every single morning, I sit down and read the comments and I'll fire back either a thumbs up or respond to them directly. I am really looking forward to those, and um, I express my gratitude for watching the videos. Uh, please do give me something in the comment section. Something for me to look forward to tomorrow, and I will see you in the morning then. Catch you on the next video.